In this video, we'll see how to find a Creative Commons image from within Microsoft PowerPoint and add an appropriate attribution. We can see here we have a picture of a lecture theatre and the format I'm using is that it's a photo with a hyperlink to the uh, source of the photo by and you credit the source and then say what the Creative Commons license is. In this case, it's buy and share alike with a hyperlink to what that license is detailing. If we click here in a new slide, and I'm going to click on Insert Online Pictures, and this allows me to search using Bing for uh, images. So say I search for Classroom and hit Enter. So that produces a Creative Commons filter on different classrooms. So I could uh, select one, and if I follow the link here, I can find out the details, bring me to a web page, and it gives me the details about the image itself. So you can see that it's an elementary classroom in Alaska. We are allowed to use the image, it's under Creative Commons, and we have a link to the license so that we can use that, and the author is Liz. We can download the original image and insert it within PowerPoint. We can switch back into PowerPoint and simply use with the photo selected click on insert so that inserts the image we can resize it if we wish and i'm now going to insert a text box um, i'm going to just double click on it here to give it a format so that i have white writing and then switching back to our source we have it's a photo by liz with a link on the photo to this here. So we'll copy this link here. Going back to PowerPoint again, we're going to add photo by Liz and it's a Creative Commons license. Add a hyperlink on this to the original source. Personally, I put the sources here in the notes as well and then the Creative Commons license. So again, just going back to uh, our web browser, we can see that it's a uh, attribution, just simply a CC by. And I'm just going to copy the link address and then back in PowerPoint, it's CC by and put a hyperlink to that license and then resize this and place it where appropriate. So we've now added a full reference to an image that we have licensed to use in our presentations.